Hi, I'm Cheryl, the roving naturalist, and I make biology and environmental science education videos on YouTube. Bird beaks come in a wide variety of shapes and sizes to allow for different feeding behaviors. A toucan's beak is about a third of the bird's entire body, so how does a toucan fly with such a large beak? It turns out that a toucan's beak is incredibly light, but at the same time it's really strong, so the toucan is able to crack open seeds and other food bits. So how is a toucan's beak both light and strong at the same time? That's a great question, Cheryl. Hi, I'm AJ, at Mostly Engineered and host of LibLab, where I make interactive engineering videos for use in the classroom. Toucan beaks like this one have a really interesting and unique structure. The interior of the beak is a foam lattice, where the outside is a harder shell. The two of these combined give it a lot of strength. You can see in this demonstration that the foam on its own is strong in compression, but not very strong in tension, allowing it to bend. Whereas the outer shell is strong in tension, but not really very strong in compression. Adding the two together, we get the strength benefits of both and a much stronger, lighter beak. Video-based projects like this one can generate curiosity in students, facilitate self-driven exploration of concepts, and cultivate long-term learning. But using videos like this can be tricky. How do you smoothly integrate multimedia videos into a lesson plan? How do you keep students from getting distracted by YouTube? How do you tie everything back together so that the ideas really stick? In our hands-on workshop, we'll talk through best practices of how to use YouTube videos like this one in your classroom. And help you find online video resources to start creating your own project-based lesson plans. If you like what you hear and want to see more, give us a thumbs up and vote for our panel submission to South by Southwest EDU. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in Austin.